Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're watching Green Wave TV Alternative Media Television. Please get this article out to as many people as possible. I'm broadcasting very early in the AM on uh, Monday, December 17, 2012. This is a significant update uh, to the killing spree uh, that uh, just occurred with Adam Lanza. Uh, this is from Mail Online. It says, did paranoid, gun-crazed mother trigger son's school killing spree? Friends say she believed the world was on edge of collapse. Nancy Lanza portrayed as a survivalist, a prepper, who stockpiled food, water, and guns. Uh, she was, of course, brutally shot four times by her son in the head, possibly as she slept. Uh, her collection of guns included handguns, assault rifle, and two hunting rifles. Uh, they describe her son, Adam, as reclusive, uh, highly intelligent, of course, he was on psychotropic medications like many, pretty much all of these killers, whether or not it was uh, James Holmes or now Adam Lanza or Jared Loeffner here in Tucson. Uh, they say he spent most of his time playing video games on the computer uh, in, a in an adjoining bedroom. Uh, his mother was fiercely protective of him, insisted he was never left on his own. Uh, this is clearly being used as a scapegoat by the Obama administration, by our federal government, to demonize preppers, to demonize uh, the liberty movement itself. Of course, this is all about guns. This is all about regulating guns, trashing the Second Amendment, uh, getting rid of semi-automatic and automatic weapons in this country. And this is a very connected story. Now, of course, there's been breaking reports streaming uh, over the past 48 hours showing the connection between Adam Lanza's father, who was set to testify on the LIBOR scandal, the London Interbank offered rate. And actually, I'm very familiar with this because I was a broker at Merrill Lynch during the height of the 2008 financial collapse. This is one of the, I would say, is the largest financial scandal uh, in history in recent history at least. Uh, his father, Adam F Lanza's father, a uh, very high level GE executive, makes over a million dollars a year. In fact, he was paying over 200000 a year to Adam Lanza's mother. That's how she was able to afford a multi-million dollar property in Connecticut. It's also why she didn't have to work. Uh, notice how there's conflicting reports with this story. There has been conflicting reports from the very beginning saying that Adam Lanza's mother, Nancy, was connected with Sandy Hook Elementary School, that she was a teacher. It turns out she wasn't a teacher. But in addition to this, not only is there a startling connection with Adam Lanza's father to the LIBOR ring, which he was set to testify on, which he will no longer testify. I broke an article to you uh, yesterday, last evening, that Hillary Clinton uh, just conveniently suffered a concussion. She will not be testifying on Benghazi Gate. Uh, he's obviously just recently toppled Libya, murdered, assassinated Muammar Gaddafi. He's been running guns out of Libya into Syria. This is what killed CIA agent Christopher Stevens and three others. Now, she's not testifying. But in addition to that, what makes this even more scandalous and puts more motive on these MK Ultra style killings and I personally haven't even come out and said that this was an MK Ultra killing until now. Uh, but this is looking a lot more uh, uh, fishy. This is looking a lot more, uh, the motive is becoming a lot more clear. Uh, he was a very high level, highly paid executive of FICO. Uh, the credit score, credit rating agency. So here we have two killers, two crazed, uh, reclusive, highly intelligent, psychotropic medicated killers that have gone on rampages in recent weeks, which is being propagandized so President Barack Obama can trash the Second Amendment and get rid of our guns. Both of their fathers, it appears, are uh, a part of a high-level cover-up 
within the LIBOR ring in regards to the LIBOR scandal itself, which was rigging international interest rates during the 2008 financial collapse. In fact, I believe there's a few people that have actually already gone to jail over this. Uh, this is one of the largest cover-ups, if not the largest cover-ups in financial history. I want you to understand the gravity of this. Please, for God's sakes, get this out, get this video out to as many people as possible. But what it appears to me is it appears that these high-level executives, both these dads, both these parents, both these alumnus, are sacrificing their children, are medicating their children with these mind-altering substances. And of course, these people are all connected with the government. They are time and time again. We saw this with Sirhan Sirhan. We saw this with the assassination of JFK. We see this in history over and over again. But there's two takeaways I want you to take away from the story I'm sharing with you right now and how we're connecting the dots between what's actually going on behind the scenes. Understand, understand that President Barack Obama is clearly scapegoating the freedom and liberty movement, demonizing preppers, demonizing people that believe, rightfully so, that this nation, the United States of America, and our financial system is on the edge of collapse. If not, as I would argue, has already collapsed. We are functionally insolvent here in the United States. $16 trillion in debt, we have a sovereign default, just like Greece, just like the riots we see in Europe. So they're trying to take your eye off the ball here so that they can propagandize the great majority of dumb American citizens into giving up their gun rights. And again, to demonizing people that are survivalists, people that are preppers, and anyone within the freedom and liberty movement in itself. Our president, your president, Barack Hussein Obama, in my opinion, is far more dangerous than Hitler ever was. Remember, Hitler wanted your guns. Hitler took away your guns. And where did that lead? You know, we are getting to the point where when President Barack Obama does go after the guns, when he does declare that he's going to begin confiscating AK-47s, weapons of war, semi-automatic and automatic weapons, and when he creates a national registry and takes away sovereignty of gun rights here in America and puts it in the hands of an independent third party in the name of the United Nations. Look this up for yourself. This is the UN Disarmament Treaty. I want you to seriously take this as a declaration of war. Imagine yourself. Imagine uh, what it was like for Thomas Jefferson or what it was like for George Washington or what it was like for these patriots. This is a declaration of war. And this will result in a new American civil war. This is a very dangerous time in American history. And the fact that they're so clearly demonizing survivalists, demonizing preppers, demonizing uh, those people that rightfully so see the writing on the wall, see the tyranny up front close and personal. I mean, it sounds to me, based on what I'm reading about Nancy Lanza, sounds like a very intelligent woman. I mean, not only was she a, a wealthy woman, uh, and not only was her son uh, described as highly intelligent, just like James Holmes, it actually sounds like she was well informed, because this nation is living through the greatest collapse in American history, maybe global history. Please, for God's sakes, get this story out to as many people as you can. Click that share link and get the truth out to the American people. This is a declaration of war. I will tell you what comes next. After the guns comes concentration camps, just like what we had during World War II with the locking up of these innocent Japanese Americans here in the western United States.
President Barack Obama has declared war against the freedom-loving patriots here in the United States. He's declaring war against survivalists. He has declared war against those that protect the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence. This is war. What comes next is concentration camps. What comes next is mass murder. Once they have your guns, once they have your weapons, and what is also coming, which I believe has already started, and I've been speaking to this for over three years now, is a much deadlier, violent, global war overseas that we have been fighting for decades which President Barack Obama and his predecessor George W. Bush have been sacrificing innocent American lives for oil, for power, for control, and for the end goal of destabilizing a region for selfish Western pursuits. There is no way to sugarcoat that. There is no way else to beat around the bush. I'm Christopher Green. Please get this video out everywhere you can. As always, hard-hitting and in your face.